Hi, this is Damien for MD Gear. I'm doing a really beautiful old farmhouse today from the late 1700s, early 1800s. I think I'm the only one to metal detect it. Got this awesome dog gonna keep me company. I'll see you guys at the first hole. Try not to XP remote cover. Seeing how I like it, I'll do a little review on it a little bit later. And it is a little hard to see this through this opaque sucker, but what am I on? Am I on deep eight? Okay, I'm gonna try something different today. I'm gonna go eight kilohertz instead of 12 kilohertz. It is pretty easy to press a button through this thing. I'll have to give it that. Disc, I only want one. I'm gonna run high sensitivity today, a little bit higher than normal, 95. Silencer always minus zero. Audio response is gonna be kind of loud today. I might drop that down to five. Normally I run audio response at four, but there were some deep targets on my last hunt that I just couldn't hear. I'm trying to dig more today. I'm trying to dig it all. So 74 right here. And I see a coin. Ah, Jefferson nickel. I don't think it's too old. First coin of the day. A 96 right here. I got 97 to 100 notched out. Beauty, look at that. Oh, it's a uh, 50 cent piece. I thought that was gonna be a large cent. I see Kennedy on there. 1974, 1976. Oh, it's a bicentennial, 1776 to 1976. Bicentennial 50 cent piece. That's cool. Definitely a first time dig for me. It's light too. Neat. Oh. <laughs> One's been playing out here. That's funny. It's this little piece. It's metal too. It's a little boat or a tank or something. Pretty old, I think. And a little, I don't know if this is a little tank or, it's kind of hard to tell what it is. It looks like a little piece of a boat or a tank or something. Oh, a nail. And I think something else. That's a square nail. And a coin. Well, clad dime. But down there amongst the nail, it's pretty good that I heard it. Got a really nice 91 right here. I'm flipping ready for a coin. It is a coin. Finally. Just having an off day. I think it's another clad dime. 2002. Got another dime right here, probably. There you are. It's got some patina on it, I think. Oh, it's a button. Cool. Feel a shank on the back. I think. Oh, maybe it's not a button. Hey, it's an Indian. Yay. I'll try to scrub that up and get a date on it later. I might not have a date on it. It looks a little chunky. Oh, at least I found a coin worth posting this video. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go grab some lunch. Got a Indian and a... It's 1976 Kennedy half dollar. And uh, a nickel. So, feeling pretty rough. A lot of, a lot of junk in the ground. I'm gonna go drive through, get some lunch.
interesting sounding 80 something here I missed it there you are looks old Interesting. Sweet. 1865 two cent piece. Beautiful. Look at that. I'll give you guys a close up of that later. That's really beautiful. It sounded good. Nice repeatable. I had this hunch that there was going to be something on the way to the barn over here. That's my first one of those. Dug largies, but I never dug a two cent. Well, I loaded two loads of wood yesterday into my barn for my father in law's house, so I'm pretty sore and tired um had a great hunt i got the two cent piece which is really a bucket list for me um or something i haven't found yet anyway got the 50 cent piece which is gold any head penny i can't tell what date it is right now i'll definitely give it a clean up some other clad dimes and stuff and various farm junk in my bag so appreciate you guys watching my hunts come to my website and check out mdgear.com or metaldetectinggear.com whichever is easiest for you to remember this is damien for md gear as always thank you for watching happy hunting <laughs>